because I want to make sure the snow is cleared away from the intakes on it. Man, it's actually blowing snow on me. This mist in the air. Why do you have a generator in Western New York? Because our weather is pretty crazy. And I really can't have this area flood. Why did I go with Generac? Good morning. For the last 19 years, I've had a backup generator, 16 kW backup generator for my house. And today it's being replaced with a 24 kW generator. I'm not going to show you the complete installation, but I will show you before and after what the uh, what my existing generator looks like, talk a little bit why I'm replacing it, and what the new generator uh, will be capable of, how much of the house it will be powering. So let's hope this goes smoothly. Let's see if we can fire this up. We'll see how this replacement goes. I'm in the utility room of the basement. And right now, my generator 252 hours. This generator 16KW power goes into a Generac transfer switch and it feeds one 200 amp panel in my house. You can see the conduit going from the transfer switch to the panel. The new generator should have two transfer switches and will feed both 200 amp panels in my house. And I also have a 100 amp panel in my shop, which is on the opposite diagonal corner of the house, 100 amp panel. I hope, I think my electrician that did the house originally and also the one that finished my basement, did the work in my basement, did a very neat job running the electrical to the panel. I think that's very neat and I'm hoping that the contractor doing the new generator install will also do a neat job with his his work okay we'll catch up to you a little later in the video I thought I should take a look at the uh, generator and open the panel up on it I think I have the right keys for it give you a look at what it looks like inside the generator there she is covered with snow. And uh, one nice thing about having a ranger, you can drive right into the shrub bed. Look at the generator. Boy, it's cold. It's uh, really blustery out. Snow's going sideways. So I, I guessed I did have the right key. Key goes in the sides on the end of it. There's a green light. So when she's ready to run, amazing how simple it is. Big generator there, powered by Generac. Why did I go with Generac? My first one lasted 19 years, had a little bit of a weak coil on it. My brother wasn't afraid of it. It ran fine other than I had to replace batteries and get it serviced yearly. So I went with what has served me well over 20 years and I'm sure this one's gonna do well. So that's what the inside of it looks like. And and she's proven, let see that. She's proven to be a, a very good generator, a very quiet, 
only runs I test run I think is five minutes and uh, it's awesome and they did a neat job installing it painted my gas piping roughed it up with sandpaper wire brush painted it found the gas leak I had so very neat installation one more look let's seal her up oh man it's cold well, we know it's warm enough inside to melt the snow falling. Green lights ready to go. The snow is blowing sideways. Why do you have a generator in Western New York? Because our weather is pretty crazy. The snow is blowing sideways like a 30 mile an hour wind. Blue skies over there. You can see the snow clouds there. And I have geese. These sleep on the roof of my house. Maybe I'll see. I can't help but laughing, guys. Life is wonderfully crazy at times. These geese seem to sleep on a roost on the roof of my house at night or in the morning. I'll put a picture in of that. Okay, back to the main topic of the video, right? So, a little more than 2,000 square feet of my basement is finished. And I really can't have this area flood when we get storms a couple times a year with intense water running in the sump pump. So I have two very large sump pumps that I need to keep running. And that's one of the reasons why we have an emergency generator. We're back in the utility room. You can see very calm. My two sump pumps and a water backup system would not pump the water out of that sump when uh, we have high water flow in the spring, thaw, and when there's a very heavy rain. Sometimes we don't have a year where we get that. Other times we get very severe rain and thawing of two or three feet of snow and that really works. So I that's why I went with a uh, backup generator uh, 20 years ago and that's why I wanted to replace it with a newer model for reliability. I showed you in the video I had a a relay transfer switch mounted in this location and I had one 200 amp panel wired to that and in this 200 amp panel my air conditioners were not on this panel and also my oven and the reason being the 15 kW generator at that time, it was recommended to me that they couldn't run your air conditioners and it wasn't a big enough generator. So with this generator, a 22 kW generator would have probably handled the house more than likely. I went with a 24 kW generator, uh, wanted a little more safety in that estimate on, on power management for the house. And I have two Generac Smart Transfer Switch. One is here. The other one's over here. Each feeds a 200 amp panel. So now my air conditioners and my, my oven were on this panel and now those will run during a power outage. Also, there's these smart modules that also help prioritize which, like if I have the oven on, it will prioritize which electrical circuits will work in an outage. My air conditioners also have a cold start, meaning if the air conditioners are running, we get a power outage, the generator kicks on, it will delay the start of the air conditioner. It has a relay on them that delays the restart of the condensing units outside so that they don't hit the load on the generator when it's just warming up. I don't know if it delays the start five minutes or how long it does. It will, they will eventually kick on and run, but it's again so that we, we don't overload the system. So I think it came out pretty well. This is my utility room where all my utilities come into the house. Taking a walk to the generator because I want to make sure the snow is cleared away from the intakes on it because it could ingest snow into the engine and all over the generator and I can see that it, it is starting to pile up the snow's been so heavy 
looks like the out exhaust. It looks pretty good, but I'm gonna clear it away. You can see green light, it's ready to run. I wanna clear the snow away from this intake before it runs. Ooh, it's about 10 degrees outside and uh, just beautiful. Look at my air conditioners. They're about three feet tall and their snow is almost up to the top of them. So air enters this side of the generator and exhaust out the opposite side of the generator and that's how it cools itself somehow that also intakes air so i'm out of breath so you want to keep that open so it doesn't ingest snow and blow snow into the engine compartment over the generator maybe into the intake exhaust I saw someone on YouTube that had a problem with that. in the air is the snow blowing it may have adjusted some snow I could probably open the engine compartment off. well you know maybe it's just blowing snow off of where I shoveled but you can see you can see I hope you can see on camera the vapor coming out the heat trail from the generator it is very quiet compared to my previous generator. The green light indicates, which I can see that green light all the way from the furthest point of my property, even during the daylight, that thing glows. Pretty neat, we can see it from our den window. So that works out very well. So I think that's a great example why you should check this and make sure the snow is shoveled away from those intake. I did it after our previous 20 inch, well it actually turned out to be almost three feet of snow. We got a foot 16 inches yesterday in spots. You can see it's a winter wonderland here. And so I wanted to do it this morning. It runs once a week. I wanted to do it, shovel it out before it runs this morning. And it was a good move on my part. A very good move. I have the FXR heated gloves on. I have a feeling it's trying to tell me the battery's dead on both these. Although they're still warm. So uh, that's it. You can watch it, we'll just leave the camera running until it shuts off. I think they've shortened the run cycle from 15 minutes down to five minutes. You can see the weed, the bush moving. Very, very quiet, beautiful generator. My brother bought my old one, he has it running, he's gotta get it hooked up to his house. And uh, I'm glad he did. That thing could run another 20 years and uh, he'll be protected in a power outage. You can see it's starting to melt the snow at the base. Warm air, I 
wouldn't say it's hot here. It feels like it's about 70 maybe. Here's a runner. After it runs, the mobile link will tell me that it's ready to run to protect my house. Or it says something like that, ready to generate power. Um, so it will send me both text me and email me notices uh, that it's ready to run. And I can monitor this generator anytime from my mobile app any place as long as I have cellular service. The generator is connected to my home Wi-Fi system. I got text messages and email that the test run was good on the generator and it's ready to run and protect my house. I don't know if they say all that. This is the status. It's 11 degrees outside. It will give me, it's saying it's 11 degrees outside. It's ready to run and the battery is at 114.1 volts. Not only does it have a trickle charger on the battery, I also opted for a heated uh, tray for the battery it sits on. And also the oil filter has a heated sleeve on it to warm the oil. I don't know how much that works, but it can't hurt. Okay, that's it. Generator is uh, awesome. The first weekend we had it, power went out three times on a Saturday night for short intervals. It's a big investment, but we need it on this property and we're glad to have it. Marauders, thank you for tuning in. Hope you consider like, subscribing, and sharing the video. I hope you learned something. And uh, feel free to comment to criticize me if I think I've said something wrong in the video or my facts are wrong. Thank you. God bless and take care. Heaters are pumping away. Gas bill was high this month, $279, although... The garage heater was running. Love that light. Couple deer in my front yard, if you can see that. Just beautiful out. I just, I just gotta give you a look at the Ranger. <laughs> Is this that video up? <laughs>